Hey guys, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So today we'll do a general collective reading. This is going to be for the 1st of November 2022 Tuesday, but it's a general reading guys, so it might resonate whenever you come across this video. It's just energy and not gender specific. Please flip the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation. Um in case you feel guided to reach out to me, guys, all my details are given below in the description box. Um, Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it and I love you all. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so as I was pre-shuffling my cards and I was, you know, clearing the energies in this space, I was getting something about a library where there are a lot of books, but there's a certain book which, uh, you know, sparks um, somebody's interest, right? Um, it, it's like the information in this book is it's magical, it's transformative. Um, everything changes after one reads this book. So something about reading a book or maybe, you know, a piece of information or knowledge is coming to someone on the first um, which is just extraordinary. So this could be you, this could be your person. Let's see. Don't know how it will resonate, but let's see. It's, it's a channeled message, guys, so it will not resonate with everyone. All right, so what's going on on the 1st of November, please? What's the strongest energy on the 1st of November, Tuesday? What does the collective needs to know, please? Thank you. What's happening on the first? Ooh, Archangel Gabriel. Communication. This is about communication. Somebody's throat chakra is very active today. They're feeling very creative, very expressive. The temple path number 12. Okay, so we have 39, number 12. And let's get one more card. What's happening on the 1st of November, please? What's happening tomorrow? Okay, so we have the thinking woman. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. Number 47. We have man holding a heart. Okay, last card. We have door to value in the reverse. Hmm. Okay, so this is a very contrasting energy, basically. Okay, um, door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse. Hmm. So I'm seeing a water sign or a fire sign here with the man holding a heart. This person's heart chakra is really expanding on the 1st of November with Archangel Raphael. Right, and this person really wants to communicate with you on the 1st of November. Right, they're being constantly guided, their intuition is pushing them to do this. Uh, but, but for some reason this person like they're not feeling good enough for you perhaps they have lost a lot of money perhaps they think that they don't have a lot of money or you know material wealth um it, it's because uh they have not completed their healing yet because self-worth comes from within it, it it doesn't depend on somebody's validation no matter how this how important this other person is right your self-worth comes from within this person perhaps you know they truly have a lot of feelings for you you could be seeing a lot of red roses red flowers around you lately right so this person has their heart on their sleeve basically you hold their heart okay uh, this person also sees you as somebody really intelligent really really creative expressive communicative like a master communicator with a thinking woman here somebody very well educated very learned 
very flossy and intellectual, basically, right? So this person is attracted to your intellect. They are attracted to the way you communicate, to the way you carry yourself, and to the way you walk the talk, right? So yes, this person really wants to communicate with you with Archangel Gabriel being the first card here. Wow. So let's see what's happening. <clears throat> All right. So what's the energy for the 1st of November, please? On the 1st of November, Tuesday. What does the collective needs to know on the 1st of November? Thank you. Hmm, so we have the High Priest, Taurus Energy, number five. Um, I'm seeing two keys here. One has a moon, one has the sun. Um, so it's like yin-yang energy, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine energy here. Let's see what else plays on the 1st of November. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Pisces energy. Hmm. Two major arcanas. Interesting. Let's see. Knight of Cups. I'm seeing this person has some like really deep knowledge or understanding about this connection, about you, right? They have come to an understanding about you, like some kind. That's what I was getting, right? That library, that, that book that sparked this person's interest, right? So this card here is talking about... And, you know, just see how this high priest is, you know, he's pointing upwards with his fingers. I feel like this is like a divine intervention. Some divine knowledge has come to this person, but they are waiting for the right time. And again, we have two major arcana. So definitely some, this is like divine knowledge or wisdom that has come to this person. With the Knight of Cups, they have the, like, man holding a heart with the Knight of Cups. Oh my goodness. This is a very romantic energy, guys. This person has a lot of feelings for you. Okay? Um, so they can be a Taurus or they can be Sagittarius, Pisces with the man holding a heart. They can, they can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We also have Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, again, they're waiting for the right time because perhaps on the 1st of November, they, they're not feeling like very action-oriented. They're constantly thinking about you, but again, maybe because they have lost a lot of money or maybe they, they don't know their own self-worth. Somehow, um, they feel that they're not good enough for you, okay? So yeah, this person seems to be waiting for the right time. Maybe they're building up their confidence, perhaps they're building up their financial stability to feel more confident to come towards you. So yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Let's see. What's happening on the first place? What's the energy? What does the collective needs to know on the 1st of November, Tuesday? What's happening here, please? Ooh, we have the King of Swords. Yes, so this person, they have knowledge about what they are going to say to you, right? So it looks like that they have a plan in mind. Um, they have, maybe they have constructed some kind of a message or a text message or an email, right, that they want to send to you. Or maybe it's just plain simple what they're going to say to you. So this is like combining intuition and intellect again, right? Um, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy again um, can be an Aquarius. 
um, this is this king is you know this is a very honest and very fair king. He speaks his truth. He's very honest, and yeah, and look at all that yellow. So I feel he's his solar plexus. It, it, it's getting activated. He really wants to come forward and speak his truth. But then again, let's see, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Hmm, Five of Swords. Mental conflict, maybe they are embarrassed with what happened in the past. So that's why this person is taking some time. They're waiting for the right time. Um, Something could be happening between the Sagittarius Pisces energy. Or, you know, you can expect something to happen actually between um, Sagittarius and Taurus energy. So from 21st November till, what's that? Yeah, so, yes, so from 21st, sorry, 22nd November, what's the Taurus season? I think it's May, right? Yeah. Till 21st May, December, January, February, March, April. So you can say the next six months, this person is going to come and speak their truth, definitely. Uh, the wheel is turning in your favor, right? All that past effort, whatever work you have done on yourself, it's it, it, there's going to be a big reward for that, guys, in the next six months. Yeah, but this person is very conflicted right now. Yeah, as I said, conflicted. I got the chariot card. Um, so in this deck, the chariot card cancer energy is like conflicted, but still moving forward. Okay, so definitely this person is making their way towards you slowly, but surely, because right now they're very conflicted and embarrassed with what happened in the past. All right, let's see. So what's the energy on the 1st of November? Anything else, please? Hmm. Hermit card in the reverse, Virgo energy. So very lonely, basically. So this person is like very lonely, brooding. But then again, The more lonely this person is, the more feelings they seem to be developing for you. Right. Yeah, but see that they how they are resisting, how they are restraining themselves to come forward. Um, so we have strength card, Leo energy, and it's like you're not you're not forcing this person. You're just sitting. Just see how the Empress is just sitting there, smiling. And the Lion seems to be, you know, he seems to be tilting towards her. She's sitting straight, but the Lion is tilting towards her, right? So it basically, I feel this person is about to, you know, or they have already started feeling that pull towards you. Maybe in the next six months, you'll see that this person has started chasing you, right? If, especially if this is a divine counterpart, a twin flame, perhaps. If this person was running away from you, you are going to notice a change. This person is going to start pursuing you or chasing you. It's all because you are in your divine feminine energy. You are stable. You are just sitting there. You're not chasing anymore. You are just being in the moment, right? So it, I can see that you have already done some work, inner work, in the next six months. Whatever you are giving out into the universe, it's about to come back to you with the infinity symbol here, right? So yes, you will see a drastic change within the next six months in this person. This person is about to chase you guys. Okay, so, so don't worry if nothing is happening right now because the energies are about to shift. 
But on the first, this person is really wanting to talk to you. But again, they're holding back. But uh, maybe because they don't feel good enough for you right now. So let's see. Let's get four more cards, please. What's happening on the first? Anything else that the collective needs to know for the first, please? Hmm, Knight of Wands, so yes, their head is in the clouds, they're feeling very passionate and romantic towards you, they're definitely wanting to come towards you, definitely. Hmm, Two of Pentacles, wanting a second chance, but then again, juggling, should I do this or not, because what happened in the past is quite embarrassing for this person, maybe this person thinks, like, overthinks a lot, right so even if things are not so big they have a habit of making a mountain out of a mole overthinking hmm. this person also fantasizes about you very sexually right because maybe you know something about two fingers right or maybe they like to play with your boobs i don't know I just got that and I was also like before starting the reading I was also getting something about um, you know the thirsty goes to the water hole right so in a in a forest or in a jungle in a desert where there's just one hole watering hole all the animals come towards that hole right to quench their thirst so that, that's a vision that I was getting. So maybe this person is really thirsty for you. And so now they need to make the effort to come towards you, right? So maybe that's a motivation. I'm not saying that that's the only motivation, right? Because it can be a bit offensive that you want somebody only for sex or, you know, physical pleasure. But I feel that this person also has a lot of feelings for you with the man holding a heart and the knight of cups they want to flirt with you they want to express themselves they want to like be very romantic with you oops okay too many cards so we have the hanged man yeah again this person is on hold for now, like they're putting things on hold and they're trying to view things from a very different perspective. Perhaps they had some assumptions about you in the past and right with, with that book, that knowledge, something has come to this person's, like something has come to light for them because they are seeing things in a completely different perspective now. Um, it, it's taking some time to uh, like digest all this information. Perhaps that's why this person is, you know, waiting for the right time. Right now they are on hold, trying to restrain themselves. Hmm. The crow seems to be, you know, he has a coin, a pentacle in its beak, and he seems to be dropping that pentacle towards this man who's hanging upside down okay so maybe this person also has some idea about making more money and then just see i said pentacle more money ace of pentacles came out yeah so maybe perhaps they have a new idea on how to make more money on how to have you know, more financial stability, like a windfall of money, right? So something has come to knowledge for this person. This could be you, this could be your person, right? So just take it how it resonates. So that's why this person is basically, they're trying to heal their financial situation. And because that's how this person is going to feel more confident to come towards you. So it's like they're ending one cycle and they're about to begin a new cycle where they can perhaps make more money, perhaps they can have more financial stability. So let's see, what else please? Yep, Ace of Swords. <clears throat> so we have two Aces. Definitely a new start, definitely there's some clarity 
And in the next six months, I, I believe there's going to be a new start, guys. It can also happen. It can actually happen, like it can begin in the Sagittarius season. So, yeah. Oh, 22nd November till 21st of December. It, it, this beginning, whatever this beginning is, it might manifest for you in like it, it might start manifesting for you. You might start seeing some signs or some physical evidence or proof from uh, like from the Sagittarius season, guys. Anything else for the 1st of November? Yeah, this person has the idea, okay? And it's like, they want to impress you. I feel they want to impress you. They want to come back there. They're trying to sneak in. They're trying to make their way in back to you with the Seven of Swords. Justice, Libra energy. Yeah, so yeah, justice is going to get served. This person knows that they have been very unjust towards you. Maybe they took your kindness for your weakness. Right, so they want to make things right, basically. Yeah, see, you are the Empress, Taurus Libra energy. Yeah, there is no one like you, no one, because the Empress is the combination of all four queens. She is the perfect uh, woman. She is, oh my God. Heavy Libra, guys. We have heavy Libra in this reading white so yes queen of swords so okay so not only this person we have the knight of swords in the reverse so i think that this person was very hasty with their words in the past maybe that's how you know this embarrassing situation got created maybe they were not thinking before speaking right so you maybe you just cut them off you you didn't take their bullshit because of course you are the empress, you know your worth, you're not going to take any disrespect, okay? You're not going to chase. So perhaps this person has realized that whatever they have been doing, it's not going to work anymore. They need to change tactics. They need to come forward with truth and honesty. Yeah. So let's see what else please is there any guidance for the viewer on the 1st of november what does the viewer needs to know please on the 1st of november tuesday Ooh, she loves okay so whatever is happening here you are being guided to forgive yourself to forgive this person right this person sees you as someone really really pretty really beautiful Maybe they see you as some kind of a model, right? Perhaps you are someone, you know, where people compliment you and they ask you, are you in the modeling profession? Are you a model or something, right? So this person sees you like a model, very tall or some somebody very beautiful. And, you know, you have the perfect facial features. Like, it, it's like somebody drew on a on a canvas you know somebody drew your portrait that that's how this person sees you yeah but this person really wants you to forgive them right they're embarrassed for what they did for what they said to you in the past they want you to forgive them devotion to the small number 32 three to one number ten mm. so yes definitely guys there is a new beginning if you have a family if you have children this per this person wants to accept you right they want to like they, they want to have a family with you let's see why is the devotion to the small here Wow, yin yang lover. This person is becoming like you. 
right? So maybe perhaps you are somebody who's really, really beautiful, like a model, but then again, you are very humble and kind. And it's, it's like it's very rare. That combination is very rare in today's world. Somebody who's very pretty, somebody who's very beautiful, right? People tend to become a little bit um, arrogant or selfish, right? Very rude to other people because they think that they are so much prettier, so much better than the others. With you, it's it's just the opposite. This person sees you like this beautiful, it's like a beautiful portrait. Um, I'm also getting something about, you know, when, when this person sees at your pictures, they, they're just wishing you just came out of that picture, right? They're just wishing that you were in front of them, you just came out, you, you, you know, in front of them, like, like a live person they keep fantasizing about that yin yang lover again with the eight infinity symbol if you are waiting for this person this person is also waiting for you <clears throat> if you have feelings for this person this person also have an equal amount of feelings for you right don't trust what's happening in the 3d guys because again, with the yin yang lover, this is a divine counterpart. There is no one more beautiful than you to this person. Nobody, nobody. And we have spiral dawns of the goddess. So, yes, again, with that five of swords energy here, this person is, you know, they're struggling with their self worth. Okay, they are me mentally conflicted. They're trying to become stable. We also have the spaces between the words. So again, if you have some intuitive thoughts about this person, maybe some songs are popping up, or there are some signs or synchronicities, right? Or maybe when this person does come and communicate with you, they could be saying something, but they could be meaning totally like something different. Just trust your intuition because whatever your intuition is telling you, it's correct, right? Read between the lines. So, yeah. But definitely, there's no one more beautiful than you. Oh, my goodness. This person is, is your fan. Nobody more beautiful than you. And it, it's something about your eyes. Maybe you have, you know, something about the way you look at them. Or it's like, you know, um, like when your eyes are not completely open, right? They're a little bit drowsy or sleepy or swollen. You know, it, it gives a very sexy look to your eyes, perhaps something about that. Okay, so this person, I don't know, but this person, oh my god. Oh, they are so attracted to you. There is no one more beautiful than you. Okay, so let's see if this person wants to say something on the 1st of November. Are there any messages that this person wants to give to my viewer? Any messages? You were, you were born with that it quality. So yes, you have what it takes. You are the empress, a perfect woman, a perfect man, whatever. Dwell on what you love. So yes, the more you focus on yourself, the more you focus on what you love, the more attractive you become for this person, the more they can't Stop thinking about you. So basically, the more you do, the more you do you, the more this person wants to be like you. They idealize you, right? Oh, you glow, we beam things. Yeah, so this person has that fantasy that you both look so good together. It's like made for each other, perfect for each other, 
physically, emotionally, mentally, right? Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness, yeah. So again, somebody as beautiful and confident as you, but so humble and kind, this is extraordinary to your person. They have never seen somebody like that before. One last card, please. Anything else this person wants to say? Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way, see? So I'm telling you, if this person was running away from you, they're about to start chasing you guys. They're about to start pursuing you. Um, from Sagittarius season, you are going to see, a, it's like a big change that you'll see. You'll start seeing, right? Because the more you are focusing on yourself, the more you are doing what you love, the more this person, you know, they're feeling that void. They're feeling that you're not focused on them anymore. So now they want you. Now they are going to come towards you. See, that you have options is meaningful. Rock on. So this person, maybe energetically, that they, they feel that you are pulling away. Maybe you have other options. It's making them crazy. They can't leave you. Right? If they once loved you, they still do. Yeah. Don't doubt the process, guys. It is happening and this person will come to you. They will chase you. Just now, they're taking some time out trying to understand, right? But I feel they already have a plan in mind about their finances, about what they're going to say to you when they come forward, but they will come forward very soon, I feel. And this chasing energy, <laughs> it's going to start, right? So yeah, Sagittarius season perhaps, and in the next six months, complete turnover, tables will be turned. You'll see that. Okay guys, so this was our reading for the first. I hope it resonated and helped you in some way. I'll see you in my next video. Much love and light. Take care. Bye.